Good afternoon, good evening, good morning, whatever time you are watching this, my YouTube friends. How y'all doing? I am, for once, as opposed to the last video you probably saw, doing dandy. Um, definitely feeling a little anxious, but that's just because of XYZ. So I was thinking about my last video and I think I want to catchphrase this, my mental health moment. Because... Uh, mental health diaries, like depression diaries, whatever you want to call it. I feel like it's already so tagged um, and used. So I wanted to be a little creative and call it a mental health moment because not every moment in my life will be good for my mental health or like me actively trying to practice things that are good for me. Like sometimes I just gotta like do daily tasks. I don't know, like not everything's gonna make me feel great. Um, but these little moments that I am trying to implement in my life, I am going to try and document with you guys. So I thought I would get on here today. It is Monday and I'm going to try and vlog my whole week. Um, just keep everyone updated on kind of what I'm doing for myself this week. As opposed to last week where I was like at the lowest of the lows, I feel much better after that breakdown actually. <laughs> like specifically I was like, I needed to hit this like bottom wall because it really turned everything around. I went home, saw my mom for a day, saw my dad, excuse me, um, saw a couple of my girls. I um, had my physical, so I love seeing my primary care. She's like my girl, so it was good. Um, went to a concert Saturday, I saw the front bottoms for the second time. It was actually the first time I saw them as an opener or as um, the headline. Like I only saw them open for brand new with Modern Baseball back in 2016 in Portland, Maine. So that was dope. We almost didn't go in, but we suffered through the line, which was an hour and man, I don't know, concert lines. And especially like we already saw them, like we also didn't like their newest album the most. It's not our favorite of them. Not like it was bad, but it wasn't like our like 2014, like bangers, 2015, whatever. So alas, we suffered through the hour long line. We got in. It was great. It was so fun. I also like don't know where to be putting my camera these days. As for this week here, Monday the 25th, right? Yes. I today had therapy with my girlie at 1. Thought it was noon. I was ready at noon. And I was like, I'm going to just sit here for another hour. It's not like I'd be doing anything. Love her. I've been going to her since I was in college. I actually found her through my university, like just their counseling. And we actually worked so closely and she did with like a couple other clients that she went on doing private practice so she can still take me even though I'm not a student anymore. And I'm like, queen. That just reminded me I have to vent on her. Thank you. Also things I did this weekend to set myself up for this week. Um, I got a call Friday from one of my jobs that I've been applying to and it's another top candidate. So yeah, we have a Zoom call tomorrow. Keep everyone updated if I get a new job. Before that, actually, I do have another job interview at 10 in the morning, um, just for a dispo helping patients. I'm like, I could do that. <laughs> and then uh, um, at 11 is the third interview for this one, a company. So yeah, it'll be cool. We'll see how it goes. And then after that, Barbara and I are gonna go to Ikea. And Wednesday, Travis is off. We will both just be chilling. Thursday. And tonight, I am taking a drop-in dance class. I did dance um, from when I was five until I was 14. So, oh, what is that, nine years? Um, I think I've been telling people 12, like, okay, big baller out here. Started to dance for a long time. Um, I always, growing up, like, with dance specifically, I didn't mm, mesh well with a lot of girls in the classes, specifically because I did softball at the same time. So. I couldn't do competition dance and I didn't really want to anyways because I never liked tap growing up or like I never was interested in jazz growing up. So I didn't want to take those classes. I only wanted to take hip hop or ballet or contemporary. So I didn't want to do competition. So I never was like with these girls the way that they were all together all the time. So I would just show up for these like classes and not do anything except like the recital. And they would all be doing competitions every weekend together. And I was just, I don't know, I felt weird. And it even like continued till I was older because there was girls like older than me and then my age that were so good and whatever the case I also hated myself in the leotards besides the point I quit dance and I was like I'm gonna play softball and that I did for another 
like three years. Then I got back to college and I was like, I just sit in my dorm room. I went through like whole thing in college where I was so bored my freshman year just because like I was doing like the normal college thing, but I didn't have any like good habits in there. Like I was going to class and like doing good in school, but I didn't do any like fucking exercise. I was like, you know what? I'm gonna sign up for dance at school because like why fuck not like it's a whole new chapter in my life No one knows me. It's not gonna be the same as when I was younger. So I did that I auditioned and I got I auditioned for both like the school like ensemble and then like the like more like club version But they both like had a recital at the end of the year like a whole performance So I was in two dances for one of them and three for the other it was so fun but then the following semester it, I did that in spring my freshman year and then fall the next year I went back um, to audition the next day after Mac Miller died the day Mac Miller died um, first of all I got 14 different texts I had someone with I didn't have their contact texting me that's how many fucking people texted me asking if I was okay and if I heard the news because of how big I am into Mac Miller I got so drunk I was like throwing up and crying so I went the next morning hungover wearing a Mac Miller sweatshirt to this audition and I'm like <laughs> and I just remember doing one of the spins like thinking I'm like killing it and I'm like where the fuck am I so yeah I didn't I, I got into one dance actually <laughs> so I was like I'm not doing it I'm not going to just one dance like the whole day. not for we're not worth it. and it's fine I did like an internship that semester but anyways I just haven't yet to do it again but I do love workout classes I do love the environment of it and I feel like now that I'm older and no one's gonna be like, I don't know, I feel like it's gonna be so much easier now that I'm actually an adult. No one hopefully is gonna know each other and maybe, what, two people know each other, three? Like, it's, it's hopefully, I don't think, because it's drop-in, not like a whole group of people that do it all the time. Like, there is groups like that um, for adults, and that's bomb, and maybe I'll do that later down the line, but for now, I'm doing a contemporary class and a hip-hop class. Grew up, I always did hip hop, and then I did contemporary as I got a little bit older, and that was great too. My technical skills definitely just aren't up to everyone else's par, and obviously now that I haven't done it in a while, I'm even rustier, I'm even less flexible, like I will need to be stretching, especially if I'm doing anything like crazy. But it is like intermediate, like I think it's just, if you've done this before, like you're not like, like, I don't know. If you've danced in the past, I'm assuming, but I didn't really read the description on intermediate, maybe I should've done that. But that was the only class for tonight, so I was like, okay. They literally only have like two classes a week, so I'm like, well, okay, I guess we'll go to one of each. And those are the things I'm doing for my mental health um, as of this week. I will bring you along on um, set adventures. Okay, catch you after my dance class. Good evening, my dearests. I just got back from my dance class. It was so fun. I was really anxious at first, but it was really nice because in the beginning of class, um, the instructor was like, how is everyone feeling like give a like your um, name your pronouns and like a uh, mood so when we all got to like open up like that it really like released all of i think everyone's like stressed because we were all like oh we're all tired and we're all stressed out <laughs> like we all had the same answers like why are we worrying about this right now so it was really nice i i fucked up real bad at some points but it was so nice to be able to like laugh at myself and like I'm not like self-conscious about it like I'm not like fucking 10 anymore it was just freeing for my inner child honest to god <laughs> so I'll be back Thursday with hip-hop but yeah I'll catch you guys um probably tomorrow I'm all gross right now and I just got back to my apartment I need to take a shower I need to make some food Travis will be home from work soon and yeah that's the rest of my night so I will see you guys tomorrow probably after both my interviews <laughs> Good morning, my friends. I look beat to a pulp, but whatever. <laughs> um, I just had my two job interviews, one at a dispo and one at a real estate company. My anxiety is kind of brewing in my tum-tum. Anyways, after this, I'm in a grocery shop and then I'll be hitting Ikea with Barbara. So I am feeling good today, even though my stomach's really unnerved. <laughs> <laughs> I'm here with it now, folks. <laughs>
Good evening, friends. I am walking back to my car. I just finished my hip hop class. Um, I love Travis more than life itself, but I wish I could date a hip hop dancer so that way we could just dance together 24 seven. We could like make each other better, like step up or I don't know, didn't someone die and step up? Oh, I'm a sweaty girl. This is my second time parking on the same street that is residential parking and I don't fucking have a residential sticker, let alone in the South End where this class is. I don't have one for my own neighborhood, but whatever. And I am yet to get a ticket. And it's literally the sexiest thing in the world. My hip hop class was literally so fun. It was so sweet because this was only, this was my first time doing hip hop since I was probably like fucking 10. So I was a little scared, but I honestly killed it. I was very proud of myself for like having been so rusty and literally not doing it in like 12 years. I was very proud of myself. And at the end I was like, thank you so much to the teacher. He was so sweet. He was like, oh my God, like this was your first class. I didn't even introduce myself. I'm so sorry. Like, please come back. Like you killed it tonight. I'm like, thanks. Shit, I will be back, babe. So yeah, I'll be back next Thursday. Hey, just late night city teens. Yes.